Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Sports Fan Network, and I'm Travis. And I'm Andrew. And today in our video, we got the NLDS preview for the Arizona Diamondbacks versus the Los Angeles Dodgers. And the first category we're going to start off is starting pitching. So, Andrew, who do you like in the starting pitching matchup? Well, I mean, it's hard not to go with the Dodgers here. I mean, they have Clayton Kershaw, who is the best pitcher in baseball, uh, back and healthy and pitching like a maniac yet again, 18-4 in the year, 2.31 ERA, just absolutely insane what this guy does year after year after year after year. Uh, it's, just, it's just outstanding. And then a U Darvish, who's been 4-3 at the team, 3.4 ERA. Uh, he's another young star pitcher for them. And, I mean, just going down this – this lineup here, they have Alex Williams with 16-3 on the year, the 2.72 ERA. I mean, just the, the options are limitless here. And for the Arizona Diamondbacks, I mean, Zach Greinke is very solid. Again, he's a very, very good pitcher, obviously. And then Robbie Ray has kind of been their best pitcher so far this season, 15-5 record, the 2.89 ERA. But I'm sorry, it's, it's hard. I mean, it's hard not to go to the Dodgers here. I think they win pretty much any pitching matchup. You put them up against any team, basically, in, a, in this five or even seven game series. Yeah, you can basically put them up against any team. And I'm saying this right now Clayton Kershaw, I mean, what a fantastic career he's had. He may go down as the best pitcher ever. I mean, just every year, year after year, just does un unthinkable things. And he is just such an ace. So, I mean, if you have Clayton Kershaw on your team, the starting pitch up, starting pitching matchup, it's going to be favored for whoever team Clayton Kershaw is on. But to have you, Darvish, as your 1B option that they got from the Rangers at the trade deadline, I mean, what a move to bolster your starting rotation. I mean, this team clearly is all in on a World Series this year, and they have the starting pitchers to get it done. And have Alex Wood, who pitched unbelievable in the first half of the season, if he can get back to pitching that way, this is by far the deadliest rotation in the postseason. And I do want to give credit to Robbie Ray, 15-5, 2.89 ERA. He's been probably their best pitcher on Arizona. Him and Zach Granke have really done their job to get this team to the postseason. But ultimately, I agree, I have to go with the Dodgers on this matchup. Yeah, let's go to their offense, uh, the offense for both of these teams here. Uh, this is actually a pretty close one, in my opinion. I mean, these are both very explosive offenses. Um, who, do you have, who do you see having the advantage here? Yeah, well, both of these offenses can light up the scoreboard quickly. In this matchup, I have to give the slight edge to the L.A. Dodgers. I think the Dodgers have a slightly slightly deeper offense after their one through five hitters. But, I mean, leading this offense, you got Cody Bellinger, to 39 home runs as a rookie in 97 RBIs. He's going to be NL Rookie of the Year, possibly M NL MVP. And then you got Corey Seager, who's hit 295. 22 home runs and 70, 71 ribbies. I mean, Corey Singer, these two are going to be like the foundational pieces for the Dodgers for years to come. They got Justin Turner, who's one of the most underrated third basemen in the league, He's hitting 322 with 21 home runs, 71 RBIs. And you can't forget about Puig, who's hit 28 home runs and 74 RBIs. I mean, this is just a deadly lineup that is a pitcher you do not want to face. Yeah, for me, the just the Dodgers are just so stacked everywhere. There's really no weaknesses on this team. And then their offense, I mean, one through nine, maybe besides like the pitching, obviously, but I mean, they have like sluggers all across the lineup here, and I just don't see a weakness in this offense. Where you go to Arizona, I mean, we all know about Paul Goldschmidt and J.D. Martinez. Those are two, you know, top-notch players in this league. Obviously, Paul Goldschmidt's been MVP candidate um, year after year after year over the past few seasons. Um, but I mean, it's hard not to go to the Dodgers because they have more depth. Arizona, like you said, after you know those first four or five batters, you start to see them get a little bit of a downgrade in terms of their in terms of their offense. There. So I think with the Dodgers as well. Yeah, and I just want to point out Paul Goldschmidt's numbers this year. He's hitting 297 with 36 home runs and 120 RBIs. And their big trade deadline acquisition, J.D. Martinez, has been arguably the hottest hitter in baseball in the second half of the season. In total this year, he's hit 303. 45 home runs between the Dodgers and the Diamondbacks with 104 RBIs. I mean, this guy is not getting enough credit for what he did. He is just a beast. Yeah, well, let's move on to the defense here. Uh, who do you think has the advantage? Yeah, for defense, I have to give the Dodgers the advantage for this one. 
mainly I want to talk about Justin Turner, who I just love. And he's one of the best defensive third basemen in, in baseball right now. I mean, I see this guy fielding it in foul territory, throwing across his body and just throwing a line and getting the guy out. I mean, he's terrific. And you have Corey Seager at shortstop, who is just this young phenom who's going to be great for years ahead. He's got a strong arm. He can cover lots of ground. And then the outfield, they got Yasuo Puig, who plays right field for the Dodgers. And, dude, can this guy throw the baseball? I've seen him from the warning track throw a guy out at third from right field on a fly. I mean, this guy's got an arm. He can make the great catch. So, for the defensive matchup, I have to give the advantage to the Dodgers. Yeah, Yasuo Puig, he's had, he's had his struggles over the past few seasons. Um, some inconsistency issues, but he seemed to have a bounce back year so on um, this season. And he's one of the most exciting players in baseball when he's, you know, got everything going for him. And obviously the fielding is a big part of that. Uh, he can cover a lot of ground in the outfield. And like we said, you know, he's got a cannon of an arm. He can make every single throw to get uh, runners and runners out of, out at the uh, third or, four, or even at home plate, really, uh, when he gets the chance to. So, I mean, it's just they have a really good defense. There's a lot of young talent across the board for the Dodgers. I have to give the advantage as well. Um, let's go to the bullpen now, and who's got the advantage here? Um, for me, I mean, <laughs> just based off the numbers, it's, it seems to favor the Dodgers here a little bit. Yeah, definitely. This one is pretty easy. The Dodgers all the way in the bullpen. They have one of the best closers in the MLB right now, Kenley Jansen. And just looking at his numbers, he has a 1.32 ERA with 41 saves. He has been completely dominant this year. And I also really like the Dodgers setup pitchers. They got some really good relief pitchers who are make, good at maintaining the lead and setting up Jansen for the save. But looking at Arizona, I mean, this isn't even a comparison. This bullpen has been by far their biggest weakness this year. Yep. Besides Archie Bradley, who has been the only good guy, he's got 25 holds and a 1.73 ERA. And the guy hit a triple in the wild card game for a relief pitcher. I mean, that's crazy, but looking at Fernando Rodney, yes, he's got 39 saves. That looks good. But if you look at his ERA, it's 4.23, which is just absolutely horrible for a closer. Most teams, like, you wouldn't even keep him on the team. So it's it's safe to say I'm surprised he's still got the closer position considering how high his ERA is. But to, back to the original questions, Dodgers, they have the advantage in the bullpen. Yeah, we kind of saw in that, you know, the wild card game where Diamondbacks got a huge lead early on and the bullpen kind of let the Colorado Rockies back into the game slowly but surely. Um, that could be a big problem for them because their starting pitching is not as strong as the Dodgers like we just mentioned earlier. Uh, they might have to go to the bullpen a little bit earlier in some of these games, especially with high, how high-powered these offenses are. Um, so that's going to be a tough, tough thing to watch for Diamondbacks fans to see if they can kind of, you know, kind of mask that and really rise to the challenge here. But let's go to the end all be all for this. Uh, who do you have winning the series? Overall, I think this series is going to be a fun one to watch, mainly because this is two NL West teams who know each other extremely well. And no one has had more success against the Dodgers than the Arizona Diamondbacks this year. So that's going to be really interesting to watch how that how this series plays out. The Diamondbacks, they have to have some confidence going in, like, yeah, like, we, we beat these guys in the regular season. We can do this again. So that's going to have a factor into it. But with that said, I still think the Dodgers are going to win this series. They have too much talent on offense, in the bullpen, on defense. I mean, like we said, there's really not a glaring weakness on this team. Yeah, I got to go for the, with the Dodgers here. Other than, you know, a really slow start to the second half of the season where they look pretty darn awful for the most part of the second half of the season. They kind of got their, you know, the momentum back to kind of end the season out. And, you know, other than that stretch that they had, they've been the best team in baseball, you know, throughout the entire season for the most part. And it's just tough not to go with them here against the Diamondbacks. I know the Diamondbacks have had a lot of success against, you know, this Dodgers team. But just going down the list here with how much of an advantage the Dodgers have at pretty much every single position here or every single aspect of this game, it's just hard not to go with them in a five-game series. Yeah, well, that's our thoughts on the NLDS preview between the Diamondbacks and the Dodgers. Now, you can really help us out by leaving a like, subscribing, and please comment down below. Let us know what you think in the comments, if you agree with us, if you disagree with us, and let's keep this conversation going. So thank you guys so much for watching.
Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And remember, you want to see those comments in the sec in the comments section below. It's always fun to hear, hear your guys' opinions on these things. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, doing more videos for the MLB playoffs.